a leopard is a formidable solo hunter and being an ambush predator it's far from being a picky animal the smallest of the large cat family but this agile animal can adapt with the ability to stalk its prey as it lingers at a safe distance perched high in the trees so please join me on this journey as i survive on the road to elder okay i got some good bleed on her the ladies and gentlemen no great story starts at the end thus we must go back to when i was nothing but a small cub after spawning into the world, it would not be long before dehydration would be setting in. Okay, cool. Let's go get some water, man. Good, good. Perfect. Perfect. Drink. 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 I filled up on my fair share of water, and after that, I went straight for the shade, because the heat was real, beaming down on top of me. Oh, crap, man. Gotta be careful. Temperature's hurting me. It's something to take damage. Unfortunately, it wasn't quite enough shade, so I went to relocate. But when doing so, I picked up the scent trail of a juvenile crocodile. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna be careful now. Make sure I don't bleed out. Get him the bleed out. <laughs> oh. At half hunger, this body could provide me for quite some time. But he landed a single shot and it near killed me. Why is his eyes red? I think it's because it's Halloween. Yeah, one shot me if I'm not careful. Oh yeah, I gotta get him up here, away from the water. I had some bleed stacked up on him, so I tried to lure him inland. <laughs> be careful my stamina too, because holy crap do you chew for it quick now. Alright, we're learning on the go, we're learning on the go. During mid-fight, I was ready to grow into a sub-adult. This would now turn the tide and I'd be able to fight this juvenile croc. There we go, just hit him again. I'm a sub now, so... I've got that. But he played it smart and retreated into the water. Yeah, they bleed to death down there, boy. That's not cool. I need to eat you. <laughs> I'm not sure if I can do that or not on the server. Oh, hello. There's a hyena there. A clan of hyenas that moved in and were gonna take over the pond. Oh man, god damn. My temperature was getting bad down there too. I need to cool down somehow. Somewhere. The heat is most definitely a killer. If the body heats up to 39 to 40 degrees Celsius, the brain tells the muscles to slow down as fatigue, it slowly sets in. That hyena's definitely just there. Yeah, there he is there. The water would have been a perfect way to cool down. I found somewhere in enough shade that I could slowly regain my body temperature, but there was hyenas down near the pond. Sort of abusing looking under the rock there, which is wrong. But, should be wrong. I need to quickly get a feed from this corpse here, so it looks like they no longer have AI. They've got these. In particular locations, there was body elephants spawned in on the map to make it easier for players to find food. But they've got these spawn bodies. Which is probably good for bugs, because you know, the AI was bugged out anyway. So that's probably a good thing. So far, this is looking good, I'm, I'm having fun. I need to go test the climbing trees. It's been a rough start, really. Starving to death before I found the food, water, yeah. It's been a bit of a rough journey. Around the pond, there were some decent sized trees. A place that I could retreat to and call home. I think they fixed the climbing, because yeah. Let's have a look. Oh, no way. They've actually... Hang on a minute. That's actually really good too. Oh, nice. Look at this. See, now climbing trees was really bad and buggy before. But hang on. Are you kidding me? I made my way up the tree to the first level of branches. And it's there that I could sit down and rest. I'm sitting in the tree. First crack too. That was pretty good. And... Losing the sunlight. Just after the sun had fallen, I used the cover of darkness to make my way down to the pond and have a drink. But I completely forgot that a new clan of hyenas had moved into the area. I gotta get out of here. One was hot on my tail, chasing me out of his territory. So I used this time as an experiment to see how fast they were, and if they could keep up with me. Oh, he couldn't keep up. I need to go for the tree. I think he was a full grown. I'm not gonna mess with him because I'm still a bit injured, so yeah. It's all good, look at my- I dug my claws deep into the bark as I slowly climbed up the tree. On this side. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so if something's chasing you, you, you gotta make sure you've got enough stamina to get in a tree. That's definitely a biggie. Well, I think we are ready. Cool, 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 cool. Adult, but fresh adult, like weak adult. Let's get some food. Oh yeah, I see the hyena. I won't worry about that. 
Sometimes the dead elephants that are spawned on the map are bugged out. They're invisible, but you can still eat from them. I need to get up the tree. And I need to do that now. I jumped at the tree, but I hit it too fast. I paralyzed myself. Ah, uh, that's interesting. Oh. Oh. Way too close. <laughs> I got stunned when I hit the tree. I made it to the safety of the branches just in time because the rest of the clan had now closed the distance. I do need to eat though. At this point I could log out and save myself the trouble of starving to death, but that ain't gonna happen. I'm a gamer. Just act like I'm not hungry. That's, that's my best bet. Eventually the hyena clan gave up and returned to their home. <laughs> GG hyenas, GG. Because I need to go find food badly now. I could log out, you know, and back in later. Safe. But she'll be fine. Oops. Look at this food right there. Down in the closest canyon, there was a corpse, and I'd make my way for it. That could be difficult. Why do I get stuck on like this invisible wall here? Shit. Oh. I'm all good, I'm good. I made it to the corpse and I began to feast, but I was not alone. Little baby. A sub-adult hyena. He stood his ground and tried his best, but there was only so much he could do. That's better anyway, because player gore you can actually eat from properly. <laughs> Those big mammoths, they're bugged out and you have to take every bite individually. It's actually so irritating and takes forever to eat. Sorry, my little friend. Sorry indeed. After I filled my stomach up, I ripped the final chunk from the hyena's body and moved on. And let's get back to our tree near the water hole. Bit of a dangerous spot, but I need the water out there, so it's not really much of a choice. <laughs> Look at all this sand out here. Pretty sure that's the ball of the map if you just go over there, you know. I made my way back home as I passed by the edge of the June Sea, but it was a long journey and I needed to sit down and regain some stamina. But eventually, I would make it back. There we go. Now the real question is, is can I drop this here without losing it? <gasps> you ripper. Can I eat from it? I can do. Okay, that's cool. Well. We might just get some more growth in here because we're 0.25 heading towards Elder. Get some growth in here. Water's not far. Just got to be careful with that with the hyenas. If you guys are enjoying my video so far too, don't forget to drop a like on it. It'll help me with the algorithm and all that and I'd truly appreciate it. Thank you very much. I was done for the afternoon, so I decided I'd log out and not return until the next day. And when I logged in, it was dark and the pond was near drained. And that's when I came up with the brilliant idea to take over the tree dead in the middle of the pond. Cool. Okay, this is not a bad tree either. Nice. I can see anything that comes down for a drink and I can actually hunt it from here. This is perfect. I might actually relocate from that tree to this tree. And sure enough, moments later, a juvenile rhino would make his way down for his daily drink. I'm hungry enough. Oh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a cold world. How big is he? Is he baby baby? Like, just fresh born? Yeah, man, he doesn't even have a horn. No, we're not that hungry. We're gonna let that one, let that one go. It'll taste better when he's a sub adult. <laughs> Probably a good, a good hunt that I'm gonna let go. You know what I mean? But I found myself in a very sticky predicament. Where on the left side I may be a leopard in a game of survival, but on the right side I'm a human being with morals. Oh, please don't hang around me that close, mate. I'll be way too tempted. You gotta move on, buddy. Or I'm gonna eat you. If he doesn't move on. From me counting back from 10 to 0, I'm going to eat him. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, natural sludge. Sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. Instead, I 3 called him. Get out of here. Go on. Get out of here. Get out of here. Don't return. Don't you return, otherwise... Otherwise, I'll have to eat you. Okay. We're good. We're good. 
He's moved on. He's moved on. I don't have to kill him now. Ah, look at that. The water's filling up too. In the dam. Nice. I went AFK for a bit. And when I returned, a lioness had moved in. A lioness. To be exact. What's going on, lady? How are we? She was fully aware of my presence. We can, we can have a stare down. Is she still just sitting there in that bush? And after some time, I decided I'd make a move. I think so. I made my way around the edge of the rock, thinking that she was in the bush. But because it was dark and I couldn't see, I misjudged. She was a clever girl and successfully landed the ambush. Okay, I got some good bleed on her. Right, can't move. <laughs> I, was, I was stuck a little bit there. That's cool, that's cool. I got some bleed on her. Here we go. Let's work it down a bit. Let's see how much stamina she's got. There's another one. Nice. There we go. She's down, she's down. Nice. Beautiful, beautiful. After a ferocious battle with the lioness and landing nine plus hits, she would bleed out and succumb to her injuries. GG, lioness, GG. With my stomach being full, it was now time to rip chunks from the body and take them back to my tree. Let's climb up the tree. Drop the leg. Oh, look at that. Go back up to my unfortunate friend up here. Somewhere she may have disappeared even. She's disappeared. So that's the problem. That's one thing Animonia does need to do. They need to add the length time for the bodies. It does need to be increased a lot. If you don't rip it off extremely quick. I'm glad I got one leg. But yeah, they do need to increase it a bit like, I don't know. Maybe 10 minutes, I like 10 minutes. A fully grown elephant would make his way down to the waterhole, but it would not disturb me, for I had food, water around me, a tree for safety, and was living good. And I also noticed something else, you can back up on a leopard. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Something else I've noticed too is, in this tree I sit at the perfect temperature almost. Not too hot, not too cold, just enough. How about that? and the wet season would finally settle down. And in this tree I'd remain, all the way until my chunk of meat would disappear. Probably should have had one last meal out of it. I left the safety of my tree so I could have a drink. See what's out and about, see if there's any lone hyenas, you know what I mean? <laughs> they will get, they'll get hurt. Hyenas can stand their ground against leopards in real life. I've seen the documentaries, but the majority of times a leopard will destroy a hyena, a solo one. For a second there, I thought I saw something I was a bird. I wonder if I can jump onto that rock. I could use that rock as a perfect escape. Oh. Well, nobody else entered the territory. I'm just waiting for something to rock up, eh? What a random bird, man. They're pretty cool. Nothing's moved in. My territory was looking barren. There was no signs of life anywhere. Didn't hang around here for... Man, the days and nights are now extremely long in Animonia too. I decided to leave the area and explore the next closest body of water. Oh, look at this little pond, man. Secret hidden little jammed up back here. Hidden just behind my territory, because I'm over there. Sand is the border of the map over there. Canyons are that way, so this must be like... I made my way down to the pond, but it was lifeless. I'm older. I'm ready to grow. Oh, that's right. It, do, it doesn't have an actual elder form, does it? I wonder if the lion's still the only one for the actual elder stage. I think it is. Must be. I'm gonna make my way back to my territory. I made my way back to the pond, but at 40 degrees Celsius, it was time to get wet. Let's go rest up my tree and regain that bit of health now. I spent the rest of the afternoon sitting in my tree, recovering from heat stroke. Oh, that was cool. Have a drink, cause that sun, that's gonna be completely gone very shortly. Drink up, drink up. One minute it was quiet around the pond, and the next minute I was being ambushed by a pride of lions. Oh, 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 oh. Crap. 
I need to get out of here. And now. Ho 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 ho. Okay, so, see that if you get hit in a tree? I need to go for one of these trees here. I'll make it, I'll make it. But only just. Low on stamina, and with only seconds to spare, I made it to the safety of a tree. <laughs> I made it. Completely surrounded by a hungry pride of lions. That one's pregnant, I think. No. <laughs> Almost killed by a pride of lions. And I only just made it to this tree in time with the stamina. <laughs> Taunt them back. <laughs> GG, lions. GG. And stay time. Look at my whole pride of them. I had roughly 40% of my stomach. Everything was looking okay. And the pride of lions had a lot of mouths to feed, so it'd only be a matter of time. I ain't gonna wanna hang around here all day. <laughs> Look at them, they're already getting bored. <laughs> they're off. See you later, lions. All right, something drove out of my territory. My pride of lions. So now, it's probably time to move on. Because I am going to need to eat, and I am going to need to drink. Time to leave my territory, it's too dangerous here. Low on health, and in the scorching heat, I made my way towards the canyon, because at the very bottom, there was a dead elephant. I could fill up my stomach, and then find somewhere safe to recover from my injuries. Just gonna hang out in this tree and slowly recover my HP a bit. I climbed to the safety of the branches, and once I'd licked my wounds clean, I'd prepare myself to move on. I spent most of the day seeking out food, and after a while, I found myself scaling one of the tallest mountains in Anamonia. Be careful when going down, I don't want to slip, you know. Instant death. Here we are though, we're at the peak, we made it to the top. The view was average, but it gave me a good perspective of the map. So that's Oasis right there. Oh yep, and out there is where I was living. So this is how I discover maps, I don't look at them online. I quite literally learn them in game and over time. Yep, that's a, that's a little bit of me, but hey, time to go down without getting killed. Should be able to, so I'm gonna try to just sort of go down here and hopefully. Yep, we look alright, this bit's not too bad. After spending some time on the mountain, it was time to head inland and find some food. Lioness over there. I think she knows I'm here. With less than 20% food in my stomach. I was getting a little desperate, but this lioness had two cubs. She could easily spare one. And in a game of survival, you can consider this a safe hunt. The following events are taking place on a community server, and this one, it has a body down rule. Yeah, rip this part, actually. I was extremely surprised, because only moments after the battle, this young queen gave birth. Very hardened lioness. Picks up a cub and she's out of there. That one's got a rare colour skin, though. A little cream skinned one. She's gone. What I'm going to do is take this up into this tree just here. Climb up into this tree, put this leg here. The chunk of meat bugged out into the tree, and I was unable to eat it. Bugged out a bit. I decided to pay it no more attention and just move on. Okay, okay, no worries, no worries. Let's go get a drink of water. Later that afternoon, I'd come across another pride of lions. At first, they seemed like a small group, but I was soon mistaken. Here we go, I could get that little one real quickly. That's a female. I landed multiple bleeds on this young lioness, but she escaped back to the pride. There was an open to swap targets and land some bleeds on an elder lion, so I took it. Where's the other one? Let's get him back out here. <laughs> She's bleeding. 
As fun as it was to mess around with this Pride Alliance, it was time to get out of there. My stamina was low and I was at half health. I failed to land on this rock correctly and this elder lion, he knew it. Oh, I'll go back up. careful on this stamina. It was at this point in time that I was preparing for the worst. I threw a couple of paws out there, hoping to land one, and then made my final break for it. I ran out of stamina. So did he though. So did he. Oh, I'm so glad that lion ran out of stamina. I was starting to, I was starting to sweat. Yeah. I definitely hurt those lionesses. Man, as an elder leopard, woof. Plus I'm stacked attack. I'm only speed and attack, I've got no armor. I managed to escape the encounter with the pride of lions with nothing more than the skin on my teeth. Yeah man, that was way too close. All right, let's get a drink, get a feed. And then I need to find myself a hunt. What's over here? Pretty sure there's, yeah, well there's water. Anything out here growing? Oh. I wouldn't draw it. I'll kill your babies. I'm having a drink. Don't mind me, lions. So I shared a moment with a pride of lions as I filled up on some water. And after that, I'd hunt a baby rhino because I was near starving to death. I ate from the body and took what was left with me all the way back to my home. Now my leopard's still alive, so perhaps I'll make a second video on him at a later date. But for now, this is where today's story ends. I hope you, my friends, enjoyed the video. And please don't forget to give it a like on your way out. This is your boy, Al, signing out at the end of another epic tale. I'll see you later.